Okay, so you get there, and you notice there's a slight hint of a smell of charred earth and wood. You don't see any fire around here, but kind of like uh, if he had a fire in the chimney and somebody stopped up his chimney and the house kind of smelled a little bit smoky, you notice that scent just faintly, kind of like when you were over by the temple and you were sifting around through the ashes over there. God damn it. Um, I'll cautiously enter the building. Uh, you can smell it a little bit stronger in here. You see Kevix, um, I guess it's like his apprentice or his secondary helper there. You hear the little bell jingle and he says, uh, uh, greetings, can I help you? Hello. Um, <laughs> we're friends of Caramon. You say we're, uh, he said we're from the, uh, the Singing Shadows and, uh, Caramon told me to come pick up some books that he had left for identification. Oh, yes, those books. I think I'll I'll go get Kevick and he'll explain to you the situation. And uh, he goes and he see he walks over to this door that opens it up and he kind of hollers down really loud. It's like Caramon's associates are here, and you hear oh, kind of wow, like a sorry. fucking uh... very aggravated grumble from downstairs, and you can hear some <laughs> coming up the steps. Damn it! And <laughs> we're boned. You see this guy walk over to you, and he has two large books in his hands. And he hands you the one. It's a normal leather-bound book, but uh, it <laughs> looks a little bit charred on the outside now, a little bit blackened. Um, and he, he says, this? this one, I've disarmed the fire trap on it. I thought I had, but it kicked back on after about four hours. Of, while I was studying the other one, I came back to this one. It says it's got several spells in it. I don't need any of these. Uh, I told Caramon that I would identify this for him, and he uh, paid me, and uh, that one's yours. The second one, I was told that once I was able to uh, you know, get inside of it, that I would be able to copy down any of the spells that are here. These three locks here, I'm uh, I'm not going to mess with them again. Why? What happened? Well, the problem is this first one released some kind of a vaporous gas or like an oil <laughs> that first started making me throw up. I think I smelled it before a long time ago, but I, I can't quite put my finger on it. For probably about 10 minutes, I was sick. I could barely crawl away from where it was. I just kind of laid on the floor and threw up until the, until it went away. But before it went away, the fire trap went off on the first book and ignited it. And you notice that his <laughs> hair's a little bit charred and all that. He says, uh, Mylon is I, trying to hold back laughter. I have, uh, yeah, he, he gives you a look like it's not funny. He kind of <laughs> knows that it's funny, but it's not funny. Then Rosie's trying to like, hold back laughter, though. The second lock, I didn't mess with. And there's... There's three locks on this one. He says, the first one, I was not able to unlock it. It has a magical protection on it. I'm, I'm going to guess you're going to have to have a locksmith undo the lock itself or make a key or find the keys for him. I'm not what messing around with this book anymore. So do you have any idea what they're worth? Well, this first one's got 11 spells in it. So that's you could probably sell this for at least 1,000 gold right there. Uh, it does have one spell in it that I copied down. I'm not really sure what it does, but uh, if you come back in a couple days, I will have tried to interpret it, and if I can't figure it out, I'm just going to cast it and find out what it does. I might have to go outside <laughs> the city for that. Uh, the second book, it's got a lead dust jacket around it. Like uh, The cover on it is made out of lead, and it has three latches on it that are metal. That seem to be magically protected. I couldn't cut through them or anything. And the locks have some kind of a magical charge on them that uh, I can't just dispel whatever the magical traps are that are on there. It's above my power to disable them. Well, thank you for trying. <laughs> um, is there anything else Caramon left here? Um, no. No, there's not. Okay. 
take this book away from me. <laughs> we'll check out the group, see if they have anything to say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the books and I'm gonna say, um, I think your hair looks better this way anyway. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I guess we leave. All right. <laughs> They'll comment, um, like while we're walking, we should probably take these to the university, see if a mage wants to buy them. Hold on, one second. <laughs> Not gibberish. Come again? <laughs> She's talking that thieves can't stuff. Yeah, that's what it is. That's how, that's She's how stuffing her face was... with freaking cupcakes she found on the side of the road. <laughs> cupcakes. <laughs> Ooh, another cupcake. I want cupcakes now. Ooh, no, cupcake. Got yeah, pizza. <laughs> I'm an adult. I can have pizza and cupcakes. <laughs> Screw you. Yuck. I want ice cream. Yeah, I used to eat pizza and cupcakes all the time, and now I have a hard time bending over to tie my shoes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go for now it. I'm in the hospital for constantly for breathing difficulty. <laughs> Pains to my chest. American. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we're just American. That's the problem. So this guy shoves this book at you and tells you, I have some repairs to do. Don't bring me anything that I have to examine for at least a week. <laughs> Fair enough. And then so, we then we're outside? Yep. <clears throat> so if one book is worth a thousand, and you said there's hundreds of books up there, think about that. Well, well these two were special These books. two books were on special display. Yeah, right. the other ones were like... This guy has a collection of books. They just searched through it for a little bit. I mean, there right. was hundreds of books. It would be like going to a library, and you would have to go through and look through each individual book or, you know, to find. There was, I mean, there was stuff on. He had books on animals. He had books on minerals. He had books on uh, liquids, uh, weather all kinds of stuff, but the closer it got to the center of the library, because it was round and rounded bookshelves, they kind of rode in on themselves towards the center. The closer it got to the center, the more the information was on uh, more specific things and more uh, magical in nature. And then he had these two spell books that were trapped and sitting there. That's awesome. But yes, there probably is other things in this tower that are that have value, right. yeah. more valuable than the other books that are sitting in the library. And there may be other things that are in that library you would have to, you know, someone would have to go through and search them. It'd probably take at least a month of steady searching through that library to find everything in it that would be of the most value. Like the trap doors and the hidden walls and bricks and stuff that are hiding where his gold is and magical weapons and... <laughs> Oh, no, I'm just talking about the books. Now, all that other stuff, that takes other time. Cool. So then we just go to the center of the thing, light it on fire, and we don't have to worry about any of the wooden, animate, <laughs> inanimate objects that are going to be attacking us. You go to the us. center of it and light it on fire and burn yeah. the thousands of books that are in there. Everything. Burn and the go back to right that out. guy. Go and back to go. that guy and be like, you can have all the ass that's up there, buddy. <laughs> Give us our seven grand. There's nothing in there live, and there's not a trap that's left. <laughs> that's right. It's totally clear. Have a blast. It's like Legos. Just pile all them rocks back up into a tower. <laughs> so, what are we going to do with the books? Um, I would, the I, I'd like to show... I mean, why not show Kinevene? I mean, he's a spell thief. Might as well see if there's anything in the books that he would be interested in before we go sell them. I mean, since we're about to go in there and clear out this tower, might as well be as well prepared as we can be. Sounds good. All right. Um, let's see. I'll look at his... Where is he? Are you there, Ken Avene? I, I am here. I'm All here. right. The, I'm going to ask you to... You're going to give me a D100 repeatedly, but okay. roll it. You're going to give me give me 11 of them. Okay. So you can say 11 D100s. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 spells out of this that you can understand. 
Oh. Uh, that you can actually, it'll take you, if you have the proper equipment, like the right inks and, you know, the time and everything, if you take them and copy them down, it'll take one week for each one of these spells so you can copy it exactly right, you know, double checking while you're doing it. So it'll be, it'd be seven weeks to actually copy these all down. But there's a spell mount, there's a spell detect undead, there's a spell of grease. There's a spell of mending, which will fix like you can fix a broken broomstick. You can stick two ends of a rope that has been yes. cut. Uh, a forget spell, a strength <laughs> spell, and a web spell. Forget, forget. All right. Well, um, yeah, I'll probably hold on to those, and uh, just over the course of the next little while, be taking my time copying them down. So I will mark those down in my thingy. So in order to use those, he has to rewrite them? He has to copy them into a spell book so that he he has them in his own handwriting and everything so that when he goes to study them, he knows them. He can cast them right out of this book, but once he does, the page goes blank. No. He understands uh, them. Grease, like... uh. It'll like, cause an area underneath someone to become slippery, and it'll cause okay. them to, they have to make a dex check or immediately fall down. And if they fail the dex check, they have to burst out into spontaneous song and dance about sex on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Summer I'm love. No. I'm, I'm going to, uh, you know, A, uh, this is this is what these spells are, by the way, guys, just, just so you know. Um. There's three other ones that you not really sure what they are. You don't understand the magic that's in them. I will have to study those a little more intensively later on. Under a well, better uh, setting. Well, I'm okay with letting Kevane take whatever spells he needs from these, but um, we did go up there and get these as a group, so I understand if you guys want to sell it. You can sell it off, well, can't we? He's got to yeah, have it for a like while to write down everything. Yeah. So we're going to have it. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, once I copy all this stuff down, uh, you guys can sell it if you want or hold on to it as a secondary, or I could hold on to it as a secondary spell book. <laughs> Maybe you can roll again and see if you can learn the other three. Yeah. As you're decoding, no. as you're decoding the other ones, you may be learning the language it's written in. Well, uh, from my understanding, mages just like it, their own spell books are unique to them, and it's uh, a little more difficult for other mages to read it. Right, right. Uh. Or these other spells might be too high a level for you to understand. Yeah. Now, what do we want to do with the other book? Burn it. <laughs> <laughs> If it's that heavily trapped, it's got to be worth something. Right. Well, how many thieves are among us that can pick locks? Is it possible that we <laughs> can disable the, Mylan, disable the locks? And, I can yeah. try. I'm pretty good at picking locks and detecting traps and all but, that sort of stuff. What's your lock pick at now? Mine is at uh, 40. Okay. Mine's at 50, I think. Yeah, mine's at 50 now. I didn't... That's awesome. Okay, I didn't drop anything. I'm only a third level ro thief, though. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, I put my pickpockets is ninety. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <Wow. laughs> that is a uh, good pickpocket. Holy crap! My you, find uh, and remove traps is five. <laughs> That's minus Mine is forty-five. That's awesome. He's our trap guy. Well, well I, I try to I try to keep a nice balance of everything. Um. Open locks is ten. So trade. I'll burn. I'll burst into flame. <laughs> well, only if there's apparently something flammable around. <laughs> yeah, like the one of the other locks sprays this gasoline grease on you, and the other one it bursts into fire, so you, you just charred a bone, and then you have nothing left. I don't mind uh, trying to pick the lock. I'd be cool with trying that out. Take the second book out of the room. Are you sure you want to try to pick that lock? <laughs> Even though you're... you're the right guy in the middle of the street. Ten minutes straight. 
Hey guys, watch this. <laughs> I think I got it. Ah! Well, what he said. Hair's on fire. Hair's on fire. Hair's on fire. On the first book, the first lock trap on it spewed out this gas that made him vomit like an oily smelling, almost like a skunk spray, but worse. Ugh. And it was kind of like a vapor, a cloudy, oily vapor that was around him. But then the first book, the fire trap reactivated itself. And since he had the book open, the trap went off and it discharged the fire trap that was on it and it ignited this oil. And that's what sh charred him. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to get like a cloth to put over like my nose and my mouth. And they'll like tie it around the back of my neck, so I've got like a little bandana thing going on. And then I'm gonna attempt to pick the lock of the book. Where are we when this is happening? We're in the middle. <laughs> of the we, are, of the we are in the busiest bar we can possibly fucking find. All right, let's go to Lake Lake. <laughs> let's go to Lake Lake. Yeah, somewhere near water. That's, that's and that's near the. Oh no! Those assholes have my knife over there. Yeah, oh. I want to find those dicks. <laughs> now we're on a hunt for dicks. Find those dicks. Uh, yeah, she doesn't. I'll let her explain that if she feels like explaining it to you. She she got she was like going like up to the temple of Darnoth, like up along, like this road right here or whatever. And uh, some guys were all like, hey, we're going to try to mug you. And she was like, that's cool, but you're not. And um, they're like, grrr. And she's like, I'm going to throw my knife at you. And then she failed the roll. But so instead of the knife like going straight in front of her, it flew behind her and nearly hit the guy behind her in like a total freak accident. It did hit the guy. It just barely missed him. And I guess they thought she did it on purpose. And then she took off running, but they still have her knife and she wants it back. Cool. <laughs> So there's a small thief group here in town that apparently are, like, muggers and rapists. Apparently they like to beat me at the Temple of Donald for some reason. Well, mm. there's there's a couple of thieves' guilds in this town that you guys have heard of. None of them have been confirmed. <laughs> but it's a large town, and they seem to have the town kind of divided up into sections where they occasionally have turf wars, but they don't uh, generally cross into each other's territories. All right, so you guys are going to go up into the Lakelands area, up by Lake Lake. Yeah, we'll go up there. Somewhere it's quiet, I guess. Somewhere that it's quiet? Yeah, just so no one else is around so to see what we're doing. All right, you're going to go right down to the shore of the lake? <laughs> Maybe. A bunch of kids playing in the pond and stuff. <laughs> we're just fishing, officer. Check <laughs> this out. Ah! <laughs> A monster gets summoned and attacks the kids by the lake. Yeah. <laughs> Some big hydra comes flying out of the lake and eats all the children. Oh, not a hydra. <laughs> Another monster I had trouble with. Oh, we all had trouble with that. That was crazy. That wasn't necessarily a hydra. Well, <laughs> that was a creature that totally was something else and I just used it as that but it was <laughs> fucking creepy ass looking monster oh yeah <laughs> a few headed thing that popped up out of the water that's pretty close to a hydra multi headed lizard dragon looking thing alright so just to kind of recap you guys have actually proceeded farther tonight in this game you've been around town you've talked to people you've been in a tavern and no one's killed each other. We did other. a lot of social stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that, is, that is... Yeah. That is insane. We haven't killed each other. We haven't tried to murder each other. That's the, the paladin's not beating people with a freaking flail. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, I go invisible, and I just uh, blow everyone up with grease and fire. Uh, <laughs> and he yeah. sets off the trap on the <laughs> thing to make sure you're all vomiting while you're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that'd be terrible. And we didn't get trapped in some weird place. Well, I was going to say, if we're still walking up there to the lake, I want to keep an eye out for those guys, like, if I see them or anything. Uh, give me a D100. Oh, please let us find them. Yeah, you don't, you don't yeah, know. Really me about you 
I sh- well, if okay, I was really, I was honest. I was hoping that that guy's sword would have hit me, because it just would have been able to explain it to me. I would, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been able to lie about it. You'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, and yeah, he would have charged right out, around the right town. out the temple. Yeah, and been like, who the fuck? <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm gonna try to disarm or unlock the lock then on that second book. Alright. I'm running. You're yeah. running. I'm diving into the lake. <laughs> lake 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 I'm out of here. I'm gonna stay somewhat about ten feet away from mom. I'm gonna stand behind someone. Sign somebody that looks non flammable. Yeah. I'm sorry. What were we doing at this very moment? I I like got distracted by the whole talking about not killing. <laughs> what? Six we're, we're all what? going to avoid bursting into flames. Yeah, okay. I didn't hear that part. But yeah, I didn't uh, hear that either. I don't know. I'm gonna going be on. honest. That's the only part of that conversation I heard. Well, no. <laughs> it's a D1. I don't remember so, that conversation. Are we at Lake Lacay doing something with... Uh, yeah. Sort of... yeah I'm pick the lock yes, up. she is going to attempt to pick the first lock, the noxious gas lock. Oh, the noxious gas one. That's a D100, right? Right. And 100 feet is about how far we are away from... Nope. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He stopped okay. vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> we all do. Well, I've got I've got that mask over my mouth. I don't know. Right. Over my mouth and nose. Ah, mustard gas. Yeah, it tends to burn your nose and your eyes. Uh, so one person had stayed <laughs> there hiding behind someone else. <laughs> Is anyone there Are with you her? To find the I'm uh, I'm gonna keep trying until I get it. I would, well, I would probably actually be there. While you're gagging? Man, I'm getting, I'm icy chill. I've had, I don't have a gag reflex anymore, so it's okay. Oh. <laughs> I like uh, you more and more every time you talk. She, uh, every word, every syllable is making me more and more happy to be in this group. <laughs> uh, Mylon, give me a D20 versus your save versus poison, and since you got a little mask over your face, you get a plus four. Uh, you got a seven, so yeah, oh you make that. And Kinavene, you give me a, one as well, just a straight D twenty. Yes. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Uh, what's your poison? Well, Thirteen. Oh yeah. So you got to roll that that or higher. So you didn't make it. Ah oh, damn it. So you for the next. Wow. Uh, for the next minute and a half you just constantly are coughing and retching and vomiting okay i'm gonna back away from uh, the uh as you're backing away you feel yourself getting weaker and weaker and you temporarily lose five points of strength okay until the vomiting and the retching stops uh everybody else notices this huge oily cloud that just gets magically summoned into the air around it and it stinks horrible uh none, I, uh... Of you, none of you guys are aware of what this smell is but it's pungent almost like a skunk but it's not a skunk smell Can I have got like a, uh, a spellcraft type of check a spellcrafty check to recognize the trap are you trying to find out what kind of vapor this is? Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be able to tell you that. Oh. You would know that this is some kind of a summoning thing where it uh, conjures up this cloud. He already told you, though, that it was magical. It's a magical trap that goes off if the lock is not picked successfully. Oh, uh, would I be able to, would I be able to de- uh, detect what spell it is? Um, no. Okay. It's just a general, it brings this spell out. It's not like it's casting a cloud kill spell or anything like that. Not It'd be cloud. like if you were getting swarmed with bugs, you would know that it's swarming you with bugs. But yeah. unless you had like an like your your spell check thing would be like an insect check thing. But if you never had seen this kind of insect before, you'd go, "It's a bug. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's a gross bug, and it's making us vomit." There would be no like no antidote for it because it's magical right you notice that it's kind of uh almost like oily until it dissipates like it 
you know how off when you spray bug spray on you? It has that <laughs> oily film afterwards, which is also yep. flammable, by the way. She is not going to be successful at picking this lock. The lock <laughs> confounds her. And until she gains another level, she will not be able to successfully pick this lock. Damn it! Who else wants to try? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna call. I'm gonna be like, hey, Kenavane, come over here and help me. <laughs> oh shit! She just, Stop moment. Moment. Stop. <laughs> it's like, uh... She'd be like, what's wrong with you? Stop being a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Quit being a wuss. Um, oh, there's no dispelling checks, are there? For what? To try to dispel magical effects. Can I just, like, get out? Okay, can I just, like, pull out one of my throwing knives and, like, pop the lock, like... You can try. Yeah, can I? I would like to try that. All right. Just jam it, a knife into the lock? And just, be like, just like, try to pop it is off, it, you know what I mean? Like. Is it, like, a padlock, or is it a, uh, like, an internal lock? <laughs> it's it's kind of like lock. a... It's kind of like a... Um, like, it's kind of like an internal lock. It's like a, you know how like on a, a barn door, you got a latch that goes over the thing that comes through the latch, and then you got the padlock that goes through it? Mm. Yeah. Well, it's like that latch, but it's also like kind of like a uh, girl's diary thing where it latches down oh, okay. and the lock is on it. I got you, yeah. All right. Um, you jam your dagger in there, and you twist, and you grind, and you twist, and you grind, <laughs> and you notice that all that seems to be happening is your dagger is tending to get bent on the end. Unless you're using the magic dagger, which in that case, I hope that's not getting bent, because you borrowed it. <laughs> well, it's not and, my, like... I wouldn't want to risk my own personal beautiful daggers that I love dearly. Okay. I'm just using one of my throwing knives. All right. And, yeah, you wouldn't be able to, well, the throwing knives are really huge. Those are, like, triple-bladed uh Yeah, like, I want to, like, skewering. destroy I want to destroy it. Right. Um, all that ends up happening is you end up giving me another D20 plus four, as it sets off the trap again in another wave of uh, oh, noxious fumes. Does <laughs> Kinevena get it as well? Oh, no, no, I backed away. Now, he I, throws I, I... away, but it's in a 20-foot <laughs> radius around this book. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, we're all fucked. Between vomiting, I'm like, I made a mistake, you guys. <laughs> uh, somebody has wandered up to see what you're doing and they get caught in the effect as well <laughs> this person right. immediately starts to retch and puke and drops on the ground and Violet finds this kind of funny and is trying to not cry from laughter while she's peeping I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna yell out to Violet to just stop it this person gets so violently sick that they just fall right down into their own vomit. They can't even hold themselves up and just kind of oh, laying there puking. Just some guy. <laughs> Should make it be a little kid, so I don't know if it's really free. Oh, my God, I can't stop puking. I, I need gust of wind. Where's gust of wind? <laughs> <laughs> it's not in that book. It might be one of those spells that you can't read. <laughs> <laughs> the best spell ever. <laughs> well then, so I'm gonna like I'm gonna, at this point I'm gonna throw the book as far away from me as possible. Oh god! You throw it into a grip of food. <laughs> she throws it into the lake. Lake Lakay, Shh. all the fish float to the top. Hey guys, we found dinner. Roll a d12. See if you throw it into the lake. No, please no, please no. <laughs> Just, just set the book down for uh, just a moment. What is? Hold on. What is your? Uh, what's your save versus poison? Oh, I failed miserably. Uh, uh, it's thirteen. Oh, you only failed by one. Oh, okay. You needed to roll a thirteen or. I think I higher. I think you're lying, and I and I actually. Oh, passed. yeah, you made it. I'm like, I don't know what everyone's problem is. This is nothing. Yeah, you made it. Yeah, you're like, this stuff is great. <laughs> I would I like a bottle of this place. She's all like <sighs> <sighs> She's snorting it Mainline <laughs> this shit I live in the needles This is nothing <laughs> I wake this up like smelling first... like this <laughs> <laughs> Whatever Yeah she's she's fine with it But you notice 
that your weapon doesn't seem to do anything to it, and your weapon actually kind of the tip of it gets a little bit twisted up. Not yeah. enough that it's going to affect how you fight with it or anything, but you're like, wow, this thing is pretty strong. And the lock doesn't look like it would be that strong. Just just give me a moment to, to recover from all this up, and then you know, I'll, I'll try my, my hands with at... Your, uh, with your lower ability to pick locks and lock. All right, yeah, I'm going to just put the book on the ground. I'm going to walk away back towards uh, outside the cloud, and I can, I'm going to take the mask off. You you hear the guy on the ground that's throwing us, what did you do to me? <laughs> You're the one that walked into the cloud. I'm going to step over I, him. I didn't I, see I, a cloud. I saw you all looking around. I thought it was the Friends of the Library meeting book club, and laying <laughs> 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 in the grass, and... That guy's crawling around. He looked like you were having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mumble fucking nerds as I step in. <laughs> vomiting box. Alright, Ginevane now feels that he has... Uh, is, the, is the cloud still there? Uh, that cloud has dissipated. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna take a breath. I'm um, going to take a... I'm going to follow up Mylan's example and take a cloth and, you know, tie it over my face so that helps a little bit <laughs> and then i'm going to go mess about with that book and try to pick up that lock my set of lock picks all right both <laughs> just to let you know both of the thieves have their lock pick tools out in front of the paladin <laughs> who's going i didn't know you guys are both locksmiths i think he's i don't think he's stupid i think he knows right. what you're up to. <laughs> i i i think uh given my talking about you know checking the door for traps and saying hold on guys this this door might be might be a little funny you know let me take a look at it and i'll disable whatever's there back when we we're in the, the wizard's tower right <laughs> i think he can assume but uh anyways for rolling d100 oh, yes! oh. <laughs> let's see i'm pretty sure you got it your roll what's your, everything. what's your score on it uh 40 percent okay yeah so you got it nice all right click the first <laughs> trap opens up and you we'll see the flames you see there's a uh you know like a small <laughs> book person player <laughs> you see there's a small flash of light and it just dwindles away around that lock okay what? all right now there's two other locks on there all right, I'm gonna put my mask oh. back on and I'm gonna go over there, and we're both gonna turn it. Can I? Okay, can I like attempt at the second lock now that it's not the same lock? Yeah, you're working on a different lock. Yes. Okay. okay. High five, Mylan, and then let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> tag in, tag out. <laughs> All right. Let's watch so, um, fail. I'm, I'm going. I'm going for the second one, guys. This one's gonna electrocute her. Yes. <laughs> oh yes. damn. I'm the best. What'd you get? A 13. Alright. Click. This one pops open and there is a small glow of light around the lock and it fades away. Alright, and then for the uh, last lock? Uh, yeah, this one's a little bit tougher. You're going to have a penalty on this one. Damn. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> well, hopefully I don't completely <laughs> fuck it up. I completely fuck it up. <laughs> wow. Oh, critical fail. Um, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> oh, man, no. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 it's an insane Nuclear penalty. Nuclear explosion. I am the I best. I am decimated. There is no more Lake Lequay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, preoccupation of Lake Lequay. I'm the best lock picker in the world. Oh, damn. You need to give me a saving throw versus spells. So a okay. D twenty versus Can I say that I backed away before all this happened? <laughs> I, I had no. planned to back away but I didn't you didn't give me a chance to You were like it. there, right there waiting. If he doesn't no. make it, can I hop in and <laughs> what am I rolling? D twenty versus your spell. All right, so Kinevene made that. Yeah, I did. Maybe, no, maybe, yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> if the Paladin is only 14 uh, 
No, you 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 would have failed it, Mylan, but only he has to do it right now. Wait, don't you want to roll lower than what this the saving is? Uh, no. Equal higher. Yeah. Oh, you have to roll higher. Yeah, that number or higher, so you need a 13 or higher. But you didn't have to roll. It was just the person who was messing with the lock. You're turned into a frog. Well, no, that would be more. No, a ray more. shoots out of the lock and hits him. Oh. He dies. Uh, He's huh. speeded by a light speed. I, uh, I, uh... He is momentarily the embodiment of the wizard. <laughs> Bad flag. Yeah. <laughs> no. What does failing this lock mean to all the others lock again? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That would be awesome. <laughs> okay, wow. let's say that what ha- that's what happens. Sorry, sorry. No. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow. You're dead. Uh-oh. Oh, dead. No. Uh, Medic. <laughs> Alan. Oof, you're a Hydra. <laughs> so, you are so turned what? into a magic carp? A magical you carp. Book. <laughs> magic carp. Wow. And All right. Wishes. Uh, <laughs> holy crap. Does not sound good. You're magically First off, to a large table with a guy with a yeah. large hat. First off, you take... <laughs> yeah. Just, I'm merry, happy merry on birthday <laughs> to you. To me? So, like, four d <laughs> There's, like, 20 d First off, you take four points of damage... Okay. Secondly, you are aged by ten years. Oh! Mm. Uh, okay, so and... Island does not want to fuck with this. He's an elf. Anymore. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm an elf. <laughs> you don't even see a wrinkle pop out on his face. <laughs> you don't even notice. Holy crap. And it's Let's one gray nose hair. <laughs> not even that. That bonus my age from like a hundred to a hundred and ten. Give me a. Uh, D4, and... 110, still young. Uh, give me a save versus, uh... Yeah, I guess versus spells. Okay, so that fails. Mm. <laughs> Alright, your... <laughs> <laughs> your right leg begins to slowly shrivel. And you start to become weak. Oh, jeez. And... What the fuck? Well, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> your leg, your your uh, right leg withers up, and it becomes so weak that you can't can't barely stand on it. You can't walk on it. It's like it's like the leg of a well. I was gonna say a hundred year old man, but you're probably already a hundred. Uh, a venerable <laughs> old elf. elf. It's all withered and like there's it's no muscle tone. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, like become a stick. Ah, it's so close to like the temple just... of Darnoth. <laughs> it's like that gnome's cane, <laughs> <laughs> but not as pimp. Yeah, you know, don't whack Mylan in the leg, in the leg with it, or you'll break your fucking leg. <laughs> <laughs> when it's like, oh my god, oh my out, god, out, and she does out not. Of curios- just out of curiosity, what was that? Uh, what was that? Uh, Ray, like, was it uh, uh, elemental st- damage or is it? No, the same effect as being struck with a staff of withering. Ah. Uh, is this reversible? With three charges expended. Oh. <laughs> I didn't keep reading. Hold on. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, here <laughs> so you're so, actually gained 30 years. So both like of your penis. legs and your penis are now a stick. <laughs> They both just fall off. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look up a spell really quick here. He <laughs> sounds really excited to do this. I didn't pay attention to this second paragraph. Oh no. Guys, this is a bad idea. <laughs> well, we know that now. This is bad. This is bad. He's holding I'm just glad is in the Guys, one there, that one. This is bad. <laughs> well, she's right by you. She might catch some of this shit, too. Nope. 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 <laughs> the exact opposite happens to her. But um, now even more beautiful and young than I was before. <laughs> yeah, that'd be weird. 
you're 20 years old or something, you can't get much younger. I know, like... A bright beam shoots out of this uh, book from the lead cover of the book, <laughs> and super fast, like a uh, light at the airport, it just yep. does a big fucking sweep all the way around. Oh, God. I'm going to guess. Gonna it's going to be at least 50 feet. Oh, everybody, God, in that everybody range. that's in this radius, plus the guy that was puking on the ground that's trying to run <laughs> away. <laughs> Everybody's got to roll to make it Fuck safe me. versus spells. Oh my God. So whatever yeah. your score is. I failed. Yes! yes. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. So, uh, is it a, just a D20? Uh, yeah. Uh, Penrose is already old. It doesn't even matter. Fuck you guys. <laughs> hey, you like him. Oh... Uh, Everyone that fails against Bill. Wow. Island kills her. Welcome to Wednesday cool. night. Everyone that, <laughs> everyone that fails drops to the well. They're not immediately drops to the ground, but you immediately have the equivalent strength of five. Oh, so oh. she just drops like one strength. That's cool. <laughs> she had like four strengths to begin with. And. <laughs> Please um, don't me. Oh, dear God. You see, out of the book cover, an opening kind of kind of swells up on the top of it, and you hear like a, a pop sound. Something shoots out of the top of this book and arcs up and then speeds down at the ground really fast and hits in the ground, and you start to see something growing up out of the ground. Now, oh, conveniently, yeah, right by the shore of the lake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> extremely oh, fast. Damn, guys. So, who what? failed their saves? Me. Mylan and Kenavane are the only two. <laughs> this is so fucking game. <laughs> fucking game. Uh, you guys are both. Give me a d20 for the guy that was on the beach. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy too. That guy. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, he just started to get up out of his own vomit and then fell back into it again. <laughs> oh, like, like he was on all fours and he was just like, <laughs> smashed right back into it in face first. <laughs> Chris, okay. Um, I want to say this right now. All right. Right now, just just to get out of the way. As soon as I see this monster grow, what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to tap uh, a ring on my middle finger. All right. Okay. Um. Oh, nice. I don't remember what it is, so don't say it out loud right now. All right. So, Mylan will go first. It's her opportunity to do All something right, so first. I'm eight hundred percent sure that I cannot pull my bow. Like, right? Like, I'm way too weak to even attempt to pull my bow back. Um, yeah. Well, is it a short bow? Mm-hmm. You couldn't get two arrows off. You, you'd be able to get one arrow off, but not two. Okay. Um, so I could probably, like, lift myself then. Yeah, you can lift yourself, but you can't, like, lift yourself up fast and take off running or anything like that. And Right. All right. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire my bow then. I just wasted my one good roll for the night on fucking initiative, so this will be great. <laughs> Are there any shovels laying around? <laughs> just you. you. Got over there. I enjoyed what, uh, what did I say about this stupid fucking game? This is so ridiculous. I'm supposed to be an archer. And there, goes, like, there goes the arrow. Now you know how I feel in our other game. <laughs> Man. <laughs> like why do I even try anymore like you know I just, I just get my quiver and like throw pa just passively throw my quiver and be like here cause this is what it's gonna look like at the end of the fight anyway <laughs> just like strategically put all your arrows around around on the ground don't step on those they'll hurt <laughs> lord <laughs> alright all right. Um, this is the weapon I'm using. You have a long sword. All right, that is one eight. All right, so um, 
So the way you have the tokens are, that's the way, that's where it's at? No, they're just, I, those are on there because that's the only way that I can access the, uh, turn, turn tracker. Yeah. So you get, you get three attacks every two round. This is the first round. All right. So you get one attack. And then next round you get an attack, whenever your normal thing is, and then one at the very end of the round after everybody's gone. How uh, how far am I away from it? As close as you want to be. All right, I'm gonna try and swing at it, and then uh, we'll run up to it and swing at it, and then like take like a step back. Well, you notice. It has two rather long, uh, kind of almost like cornstalk shaped arms. It's got mm -hmm. sharp leaves all over it with kind of like bulbous clumps at the ends of it and kind of like long, viney cornstalk arms. It's got two of them. And they got a pretty good reach on them. So Where's if you're trying to run thing? up and hit it and then step far enough back so that you're not getting hit again, it'd probably still be able to reach you. Uh. All right, yeah. So, <laughs> I'll just try and swing at it, I guess. All right. Nice. Oh, crit fail. Critical miss. Give me a D12. A three. You just critically miss. You don't slay anybody that's in the area or fire your <laughs> left now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Shittier than me. <laughs> <laughs> what about that poor guy that's, like, basically Fuck. just there for some reason? Fuck him. Yeah, I oh, actually yeah. shot his head off. <laughs> he starts to get up and run and a fucking longsword goes right into his back <laughs> I just want to go home it's the worst day ever why did I come over here uh, I, this... I, I should like m when I miss the monster I swing so hard I chop the guy's ear off <laughs> just like every time we miss he just gets maimed in some way <laughs> <laughs> this uh he's just a stump with a head <laughs> you saved me um all right so this thing goes it thrashes out one attack at thunros and one attack at grimwald so the first attack <laughs> it's a pro i don't really know how he can do <laughs> that like, that one's at thunros <laughs> that one's at the lake the that, leaves gently uh, caress yeah. his armor <laughs> and the second roll yeah. goes at uh, Grimwald, and it misses. It is now Kinevane's turn. Okay, so did my ring's effect go off? Yes, there is actually, oh, yeah. It, it only has five opponents that it would be swinging at. You see Kinevane gets hit with that ray, and his leg just crumples up like a burnt match, but white or kind of grayish, and he tips over towards the ground, and as he hits the ground, you see, phew, and he's gone. It incinerated okay, Cinevene! <laughs> it's a killer plant! <laughs> so, would you like to remain in that state for now? Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll be, uh... I'll, I'll uh, continue being on the ground, but uh, I'm going to try to crawl away a little bit from uh, All right. the plant. All right, Thenros, you just saw one of your <laughs> um, companions. Two of them blasted and all of a sudden dropped to the ground and start to crawl, and one of them wither and disappear. What do you do? Is there any, like, town gods around that are seeing this shit? <laughs> um, there might be at some point when somebody starts hollering or you guys, but right now, no. There's nobody that's noticed it yet right in this first... 40 seconds that this is going off. I'll go off in a second. All right. Watch me horribly fail. Oh, shit. You're do good. No, you did. Yes. Fenros, carry me. <laughs> carry me, please. <laughs> please. That's, that's, a, please. Really that's a carry definite like hit. Please, carry. Of... <laughs> All right, that's a definite hit. <laughs> Two points oh, of damage. Right, right. 
but you when you swing you're able to hit right at the uh, main uh, base of it and you hit and you see that the arms kind of flail around crazy for a second <clears throat> and you notice that <clears throat> down where it's rooted into the ground you see uh, some kind of movement almost like big fingers of plant-like claws that are down on the ground kind of pop out of the dirt a little bit and kind of wiggle almost like if you got slammed your finger in a car door and your your finger your toes would kind of jolt out in your boots just someone under this thing <laughs> no well they they appear to be attached to this plant right from where that seed hopped out of the book and hit the ground and started growing is it still growing or is it the the rate of growth seems to have stopped at this point Okay. By the end of this round, it, it doesn't grow anymore. Uh, so now we're to Bo Hindi. So now what do we think Bo Hindi would do? I know. He has a character better than us. He's he has. Some range weapon. Right. Um, yeah. He has a dagger. He'll go Bring with to its his, eye and blind it. He'll fire with his longbow. He has. He's got a bonus to hit, I think. Yeah. Uh, nine, but I don't think... Damn it, guys. Why am I the only useful person here? <laughs> <laughs> Even the tree's bad. Alright, the second one hits. And he does... One point of damage to it. Oh my god! Uh, you did two, correct, Fenros? Yep. 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 Alright. He's able to shoot it in the stock. And now we're back to Mylan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a really deep breath. <laughs> and I'm gonna steady myself. I'm gonna recover from that last, that last you really difficult legalism. action. I'm gonna use one of my plus one arrows that I haven't touched in a really long time, and I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna hit this son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> I am a god. <laughs> <laughs> like right in its ass. Just fuck she it. hits Finro. Somehow. Wait, it's not a critical fail. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, yeah, that misses. Yeah, 19. And it's gonna... Yeah, you need a 13 to hit the stalks and a 15 to hit the base. My one does. I'm just giving you numbers to shoot for. All right, <laughs> Grimwald, you get another attack with your sword. And then after Bohindi, you get another attack. I get two attacks this round? Right. All right, first one. Uh, 13, and yeah, you hit. You need a uh, you need a 10 or a 12 to hit this thing. A 10 if you're aiming at the stalks, a 12 if you're hitting at the main body. So right. either one you would have hit. If you want to pick your slashing off the arms... Or if you're yes. going right in and attacking at the body. Yeah, slash off those arms. I don't want All to right. reach any of us. All right, for the second attack, hey 21 to hit. 12 points of damage. All right. I like this, I like this macro. It's... <laughs> <laughs> um, you uh, <laughs> hit this thing. Well, the second attack would come after Bo Hindi comes. After, your last attack goes after everybody else is done. Like, you get an extra. Oh, yeah, yeah. As the okay. fight's going, you're the guy at the end that gets one more swing in. Right. But uh, your first one did eight. And so we'll save that one for... All right, Kenavene, it is your Continue. turn. Continue moving away just to get a nice distance. All right. You're, you're able to crawl about ten feet away altogether. Five feet the last round, five feet this round. I don't really know what your movement rate is with a withered leg and strength of five. <laughs> it's not. A, you can't yeah, move. You're paralyzed. Is, is, uh, he uh, has an acrobat non-weapon proficiency of walking on hands, so he just hurls himself <laughs> up on his hands and he books it away. <laughs> like a... Like a circus act or something. Like that guy I saw in 2020 that had no legs and no hips and his abdomen had been blown off or something. Okay. Uh, Still no no attention has been drawn. Fenros, your... I'll attack at the arms. Why is nobody taking notice to this? <laughs> but how big is this tree, exactly? Is it screaming? Is it, like, is the monster, like... Stuff like my, that. My uh, it's she mostly just rustling sound. It's not really How making much of a noise. Like, 
How big is this thing? Yeah. Like five to six feet tall, but the arms that are on it are now to the length of it's fully grown now, and they have like a 12-foot reach on them. They seem to recoil into the body and kind of shoot out. I mean, not the whole entire arm doesn't go into the body, but most of it kind of sucks back in. Okay. Well, I'm aiming for those arms. All right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Nice. Yeah. All right. Five. Bam. Uh, it loses one of its arms. Yes. <laughs> How many arms does it have? Uh, it's got two. one left. Yeah, so, well, it has two, but one of them's attached, and the other one's fucking flopping around on the ground. <laughs> uh, you see that the bottom part that was rooted into the ground kind of pushes up, and you see that it looks like it's got almost like two stumpy feet on the bottom of it with, like, 20 toes on each side. They're kind of long, almost like finger toes, <laughs> um, but, like, really hard plant-like. Like the bottom of a roots, but they're more like feet that are, are two claws that come out the bottom. And you see that it starts to try to waddle away backwards. It's kind of going along the edge of the shore, and it's lashing out at uh, you guys. It's keeping its one arm that's wiggling around at you. And do see that it's got like a down underneath the feet. You see that there's more of like a, uh, a lighter color down there, and you see there's slight movement underneath there. Like, up inside the stalk, you can kind of tell that there's a mouth or something like that. Bo Hindi, we're going to say he fires his arrow. <coughs> he fires an arrow, and he misses. And he fires another arrow. He hits, and he does <laughs> seven points of damage. He shoots the stalk. And you see that the stalk just starts to shake really crazy, and all of a sudden that arm just starts flailing all over the place. <laughs> and uh, it gets two attacks, but uh, your other attack, Grimald's other attack, goes into effect and it hits it. And you see that the body, whatever the other 12 points of damage, you slash this creature, and uh, you see that the body just kind of heaps open and a bunch of goo comes out of it <laughs> but the arm is still thrashing around and uh even after it's dead this thing just keeps whipping around for one round so it's gonna attack two more times before it's completely dead but uh oh. it's like a after nerve center effect Kind of like after you cut a worm in half, the other half that doesn't have a brain just keeps wriggling around. Except this one has giant, clumpy, thorny things on it. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> All right, uh, Mylan, it's back to you. Um, I just, I just give up and I lay down and I cry. <laughs> 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 cry, cry a lot. Yeah. <laughs> she curls into a ball. Well, actually, I mean, you guys can attack it, but unless you do a massive amount of damage and crush the arm, it's still just going to flail around. So if you want to just roll the hit, Grimwald, and see. Okay. Mylan has exhausted herself and is going to lay back down and just stare up at the sky and wonder what she's done with her life this far. <laughs> <laughs> I get an 11. All right, you actually damage. hit. Yeah, there's a lot of damage. So you slice the viney arm in half. It'll only get one attack on somebody. And it's just kind of flailing and flopping around. It's not really aiming at anybody, so totally <laughs> random. Uh, well, <laughs> not totally random. It flips around and it smacks Mylan. <laughs> If she would have crawled away, she just she just rolls over. She's, she rolls just... over and looks at the sky, and this big thorny, bushy arm comes and smacks her right in the face. This is this is. This you is can see bush. just blue sky, and then it's just like the shadow, and it smashes right in the She face. doesn't react. <laughs> she just lays there and takes it. <laughs> um, 
uh, <laughs> does three points of damage, and then it, all of the pieces just kind of gibber and shake there. Uh, you see that the uh, body that's laying there, after a couple, I don't know, after 10, 10 seconds or so, it just evaporates, disappears. In the arm? Yeah, the arm, too. The, all of the parts of it just kind of... With a little gust of magic. So it's dead? Yeah, and gone. 